Hello, everyone. This is Chala Dinkoy, CEO and founder of The Repositioning Expert, coming to you on another Tuesday, end of the day, 3.30, 3.34. I am just pulling in another, um, you know, protein shake with chocolate and all that good stuff in it. And I am going to regale you with why your messaging isn't working. And there's Logan calling. So I'm going to have to decline that call. Sorry about that. That's my little guy. So let me tell you about why your messaging isn't working. So what is your messaging? Well, first, let me take a sip. I'm always scared of scalding myself. Okay. So what is your messaging? Your messaging is the stuff that people see when they're prospects. So you are trying to approach them on either in person where you're going to networking, your uh, whatever it, your website says, that's your messaging, whatever you send them in an email, that's your messaging. When you leave a voicemail, that's your messaging, your elevator pitches, your messaging, your um, actual like presentations, your sales presentations, your capability presentations are your messaging. Your messaging is the thing that hits and touches the people who are going to be considering hiring you. That's your messaging. So, and here are the three big signs that it is not working and then why, like what to do about it. So one is big sign if it doesn't convert, right? Um, people are, your web visitors are not converting into calls your uh, DMs like through LinkedIn are not converting, your v voicemails and emails are not converting, you're not getting an answer, your networking when you're introducing yourself, people are not asking for your card or for an appointment, and your sales conversations and, and meetings are not converting. In fact, you can't even get them because the messaging isn't converting. So big red flag, number one, is your messaging is not converting. Number two, You've heard others use it. And this is so funny because I have heard when clients uh, or students come to me and, and they do their elevator pitch and they're like, this is the most differentiated. We are, we're the only people who do this. This is our biggest differentiator. And it's like, I've heard it so many times before, right? And um, here's how you know, you've either heard it in your own industry and everybody's saying it, or in fact, I've heard unrelated industries using the same messaging because they think it's all relevant. And one of the examples is like, we have great customer service. Like everybody says that, right? Like if everybody says that, you know that your messaging isn't working because you can't say something that everybody else is saying and stand out. So these are the three signs your messaging isn't working. The first was the fact that it doesn't convert. And the second is that it is just everybody else is saying it. Um, and then the third, this is a really good one, is that people are confused by it. So either you're trying to do too much with your messaging, you're trying to mix messages together, you're trying to combine something and make an umbrella message. All of that is going to hurt you, bite you in the butt. It's going to serve to confuse and confused minds don't buy right? And oftentimes what I find with messaging is that, uh, you know, companies themselves are confused internally. Founders are confused by the messaging, what it should be, uh, what like what their, um, not consumers, but what their customers are looking for. So it's a whole combination of all of that. So let me take you through like, why is this happening? Why do people come up with bad messaging? Number one is if you come up with it business owners, I understand at the beginning, they have to make up their own messaging because they don't have any experts. They have no knowledge. They have to make up their own messaging. And oftentimes the reason why it's not working is because you made it up. Number two is if an agency or, or a consultant made it up and I differentiate myself from that because I have number three, which is, uh, I let the marketing. So the, the third, reason why your messaging isn't working is because you haven't asked the market to come up with your messaging. So that's how I, my um, methodology is through asking the market to come up with the messaging. 
So, and, and we'll, you know, I'll take you through that. So one of the ways that we do that is we ask the market what the pain is. So one of the reasons why your messaging isn't working is because it's not based on a problem. It's not pain based messaging and it's not uh, gathered from the pulse point of the market data in that in the moment of that time that you're using that message. Maybe it's old, maybe it's generic, maybe it's like an evergreen, but it's not uh, targeted to that t uh, point in time, picture in time of the pain point of the market. Uh, another reason why your messaging isn't working is because it's not specific to one industry or interest group. So again, confused minds don't buy. And when you're talking about generic problems, uh, you're not getting down to the level of the, the actual industry or the interest group in terms of their problems. Another reason why it's your messaging is not working is because not only are you not getting to the level of down to the level of the industry specific industry or interest group in terms of their problems, but you're not even using their specific industry specific language around that topic of pain, because everybody could have the same pain all over the world but different industries or interest groups refer to them and talk about them in different ways. And if you have not adopted their language of their pain, then you're doing yourself a disservice and your messaging isn't working. Okay. Now, uh, the last reason why I think your messaging is not working is because it is not consistent throughout your marketing and sales platforms and efforts. So this could be the um, an example could be that you're pitching one of your services around one problem that that you know customer has expressed that they have, but when they Google you, they don't see anything, any content on you know the the web or in your website or in any thought leadership format or forum around that problem that you presented yourself as an expert in. So when you haven't figured out your messaging based on a very strategic and specific part of the market, which is like an industry and or interest group, and you haven't figured out what one problem that you've become a specialist in, and you don't talk about that everywhere in your marketing, including all the marketing content, all your sales collateral, if the, these don't hold together, then your messaging is not going to work. So I recently had a sales conversation with a prospect who had to date come up with their own messaging. And she was continuing and she thought we could continue to work with me and that I would give them the messaging, that I would just give it to them. Like I would just come on and we would have like an hour's conversation or whatever, you know, short term um, solution that we would come up with, but that I would craft this messaging. And I had to explain to her that the messaging is built on the back of this huge strategy where we have to, you know, identify segments of the market, whether they're segregated, um, self-gathering groups of people in industries or interest groups. And then we have to go through the job of isolating the most expensive problem that they have and then putting it together with a self-analysis of what we're best suited to help and what we're best suited to reach to in terms of the uh, outreach. Like how many people do we know in that industry? How much background, skill set, experience do we have in, in that industry? It is a combination of all these things that we have to figure out strategically. And then we have to pivot onto this gap in the market around this pain point, and then we can message you. So I don't just come in and just do messaging. I, I teach you how to find that strategy of how to get that nugget in that market within that gap. And then how do you own it with your marketing content and with your thought leadership? How do you do keynotes about it? How do you get asked to speak? at conferences that have that, you know, same pain point and are in that industry, that's what your messaging has to be. Otherwise, nobody understands it. It just blends in with everyone else and it's not converting. 
So I hope that this has been, you know, just jogging your memory. I talk about this all the time, all the time, all the time, but stop trying to figure out your messaging on your own. You can't figure out your own differentiator by yourself. If you know how to go and ask the market, great. But again, you shouldn't be doing it like ad hoc. It's not like throwing spaghetti at the wall. There is a, a, a consistent and systematic way to ask the market, first of all, which part of the market you should be targeting, and then to ask them what is the most persistent and costly problem that they have that you can solve. And then once you have that, then you can figure out your messaging and then it'll work because that's what people want. You are in front of people in pain, talking about their pain all the time, all the time, seven to 12 touches before they buy. Guess what? You're going to get into their world. Industries self gather and they have all sorts of organized events, virtual and in person, and you're going to pump your content into those funnels and channels and you're going to just be ubiquitous everywhere they are, everywhere their eyes and ears are all the buyers in that industry who buy for what you sell. That's how you make your message work. All right. So that was, I did it fast because little Logan's going to come home and I'm eating my hair, but um, so next week I'll see you on Tuesday again. I almost said Sunday. I don't want to see you on Sunday. I'll see you on Tuesday. And I look forward to what you think about the messaging that isn't working. I want to hear about what your messaging is and why you think it's not working. All right, everyone, take care.